I want to take a moment and show you how to set up the speed on our new variable speed control head from Driplock. The easiest way to set up your head is going to be, if you've got a bench vise, what we like to do is go ahead and attach it to our swivel. And by opening up the jaws, we can come in from the side. And all we need to do is just barely grab a hold of that. You don't have to over tighten it. And that'll get it set. The first setting that we're going to show you guys is going to be what we would call a zero or no spin. Uh, out of the box, we went ahead and loosened these things up as they came tight. So if you'll slightly loosen, these are called banjo bolts. If you'll loosen those up, I'm going to go ahead and walk this arm around to about 90 degrees. I'm going to take this one, and basically what I want to do is mirror them and have those things totally opposing each other. Now the easiest way, and this is why having the, the bench vise works really well, is if you'll get these in the vise, you can hold the arm in position while you take and cinch down the actually the banjo bolt. So we pull the trigger, and we're going to notice nothing spinning. So we're going to stop, make an adjustment, come right back. Okay, we've put our uh, head back in the vise to make it easy. We're just going to take, knock this piece a little bit loose. Now what we know is if you look straight down on top of this, the edge of that wash arm, if I can point this out well, really is about on the edge or the point of this block. That's about where we're finding that the setting really needs to be at. And that gets us a decently slow RPM. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna hold that head in place. I'm gonna come down, trying to hold it right off the corner. Cinch it down good. I'm gonna come around this other side. Break that one loose. I'm gonna curl it around. You should be able, hopefully the camera's picking that up. But the side of this wash arm goes straight down with the corner of that block. So again, I'm holding it in place, get my 13 millimeter. I'm just gonna cinch that thing down in place. Now we should start seeing some RPM happening. Go again. Now, if it were me, I'm guessing that RPM somewhere around 200 RPM, I would think that would be perfect. The cool thing about it is when you slow down the RPM, generally if I have a high RPM, which I'll show you here in a second, which we'll call 3200 RPM or max, I can get my hand or a piece of metal away from the spray tip. I can get all the way about this close from the actual basket or the wash head before it starts stinging my hand. Whenever I slow this thing down, my range now becomes right about in here. So by slowing down, the water stays together further, reaches farther, and impacts a lot harder on the surface. So it's fair to say you get a lot more reach. High RPM is not the way to go. We'll make another adjustment and we'll come right back. Max setting. This is what a normal mousematic head would have where they're totally opposing that are fixed. So let's see what this one does. And you should get the highest pitch whining sound. We'll try and get this where it doesn't miss this too bad for the video, but. So you can see that one's moving, the higher pitch, higher RPM, not really what we're looking for. We're gonna... Okay, we wanna talk about the three inch head real quick. We just covered setting up what we call the six inch adjustable speed control head. On the three, a couple of things to note is going to be, whenever you're setting these up, we had talked about coming in off of the corner of the mounting block or the head, swinging our arm to about that point where it lines up right down the plane. That's normally where we'd set it on a, uh, a six inch head. What we're finding is, because the arms are shorter, you have to set them up just a little bit faster on a three inch to get it to kick it and get it to roll into roll into motion. So what we'll do is we're gonna take this one, same rule is gonna apply. A little bit harder to see, obviously because everything's shrunk, but we're gonna come in, set up right around in here. 
We're going to sense this one down again, holding it. Repeat that on the other side, and you can see on this bottom line, it's just a little bit faster. So I'll set this one here. Kind of check along the way to make sure you're in a straight line. And that's where I think you're going to find, for most people, are going to find their setting to be at. Okay, a couple of last finishing thoughts that we wanted to give for you guys is key points. Once you get your head set outside of the basket, it's much easier to come in if you want the exact sizes. A 7 8 opening wrench works nicely. You can use a crescent. You'll want to come in, remove your wash head, and then go to your normal install on your existing basket if you're going that direction. Uh, another key point is all of these that are coming out on the duck spinner line are going to be 3 8 They are meant to be stuck directly on the end of a hose and used with the trigger gun at all times or a ball valve, something to be able to shut that head down. So if you've got any questions, make sure and call Driplock Tech Support. We can get you taken care of.